This one looks awesome. Oh, it looks so killer. Hey gang, it's me Ola coming at you from the homestead. I just got back from fishing actually. Put in a, just a couple of hours before it just got too hot. Too hot. I did catch some fish. I might make a little video. I might not. But in the meantime, I got some unboxing to do. And this is the musky edition of unboxing. So let's start with the first one. So I'm thinking that my best shot at a muskie is going to be in Illinois while I'm there early September, late August. Oh look, they stuffed it with one of their newspapers. Woo! This one looks awesome. Oh, it looks so killer. If any of you guys have experienced muskie fishing, please comment below because I have zero experience and it's just what I've learned has been on the internet and asking questions. This first lure is made by Lee Lures, I believe. And this is called the Micro Boiler Maker. Da, 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 da. Look at this thing. By Lee Lures. I mean, this, this is balsa wood. It's a one ounce lure. I can't believe it's an ounce. It sure doesn't feel like it. It has some little ball bearings and it has a weighted head, but this balsa keeps it high in the water column, which I figured I might need this for where I'm going to be musky fishing because it's not very deep. And I'm hoping I can get a musky in there. It might be too hot for that shallow of water, but I'm going to have this bad boy just for the shallow water. Lee Lures Boilermaker number eight and it has the gold blade with their little initials on it. That's a pretty cool looking bait. The size of those hooks, baby. I'll put links in the description to some of these lures if y'all are interested. So that's number one. This was, oh, I want to say it was about, was this 25? No, this one was around $44. Musky lures are not cheap. So we're just going to put her right back in the bag. I will definitely be throwing that one. This one is from a company called Chaos Tackle. And Christine had actually recommended a bait from these guys, but the bait she recommended, I can't throw it. Even the small version is like four and a half ounces. That's just too heavy. I can't do that to my shoulder. So this lure by Chaos Tackle is quite popular in the big size. I had to go with the Mini and it is the Medusa. So that's the Mini Mini Medusa or Micro? I don't know. It's one, it's their smallest Medusa they make. So they come in a two pack. So I got two, but look at that thing. I mean, it's hard to believe a fish would hit that. These tails probably look pretty awesome being drugged behind it. This is a slow sinking. It's an ounce and a half. The weight's right here in the head. So let's see, it's got that platform area. I don't know what you would call that, a chine in the, in the rubber. So I got two of those. These seem to be quite popular on YouTube. But the, the other bait that was recommended was that Poseidon by Chaos Tackle. And that's just, it's too big for me to throw. Especially on my rod and reel setup. I don't think my rod would handle that. So then, these are Chaos Tackle um, 6 inch, 174 pound. These are beefy, beefy leaders. They are not biting through that. So then I had a few other lures that I already owned. 
that I'm going to be taking. So let's look at those. Now this spinner bait is actually, it's a musky spinner bait made by Lunkin Lures. I actually won this um, a couple of years ago at the women's fishing event in Branson, Missouri. They have drawings for all kinds of stuff. So I won this lure among other things and I put a Gambler Big Easy as a trailer. So I think a muskie would hit that swimming through the water column there. And I have other spinner baits, the one ounce size. This is a two ounce. No, is this a one ounce? Feels pretty heavy. It feels with this bait, especially it's probably an ounce and a half. So then I already owned this gigantic Whopper Plopper 190 in bone color. We're gonna take that. I've caught a bass on that before. And it was a dink, believe it or not. Then another bait that I already owned. I bought this actually last year up in Maine before I did my little musky trip up by the Canadian border. This is a glide bait. And I think it's an ounce and a half. Slow sinking. So we'll take that. Then I already owned this ginormous shallow wrap shag. I put a little red thing on the throat. Give them a target. It has ginormous hooks, but I, I own this for a long time. I've never caught anything on it, but I'm not musky fished with it. So this is going with me. Then I have a couple more items that I bought last year. I have the MEPS musky killer in, is it an ounce? Three quarter ounce size. And I have two or three of these, which one was open last year and I fished with it and I caught pike. But so I have a couple of these that I haven't used yet. And then I figured I'd take this one ounce bucktail since I've heard that those musky really love the bucktail jigs. I don't really fish bucktails too often. It's just a white with a white skirt. It says glow. So that's it guys. That is so far. I'm not done. I still need to get a net. I'm gonna really look around and see if I can find a net that I might be able to borrow. I don't know. Maybe one of my friends up in Illinois has one, but if I don't catch my muskie in Illinois, I'll be shooting for probably Pennsylvania when we stop there or somewhere along the way, or even up near Canada and Maine. I still need some long nose pliers, which I have in my shopping cart at Fish USA. I just haven't pulled the trigger yet because I'm adding things as I go. Long nose pliers, a, a good net. I'm gonna get some heavy duty cutters for those big old hooks in case something bad happens. And what else was I gonna get? Maybe a couple more big old spinner baits because the big pike like those too. The big pike love the Stanley Top Toad too. I already have a bunch of those on hand. So yeah, that's my arsenal so far for Maine and I'll be throwing these things on that Tranks 400 and the St. Croix Mojo Bass Heavy Rod, Heavy Fast. So if I'm missing anything or if you have any kind of tips or recommendations, shoot them my way because I need all the help I can get. And if I don't get my muskie on the way to Maine, maybe I'll get it on the way home from Maine because we're taking the Blue Ridge Parkway coming back. So I'm sure there's the, the James Rivers down there. There's a few others that might have muskie. I'll do all my research when I'm up in Maine with some downtime. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.